the next 3d figure that we have is a cylinder let's draw a cylinder first if this is a cylinder this will be the radius this will be the height of the cylinder so we can say that what is the curved surface area of a cylinder the curved surface area does not include the upper lid or the lower lid it is considered that it is hollow from between and we have to consider only the curved part so what is the curved surface area curved surface area of the cylinder is 2 pi r h now what is the total surface area the total surface area includes this curved surface area plus above lid plus the lid below it so we can say that the total surface area is 2 pi r h plus 2 pi r square one pi r square is the lower lid and the other pi r square is the upper lid now what is the volume the volume of this cylinder is pi r square h let us see the last 3D figure that we have which is known as cone. Let us first construct a cone. A cone also looks like an ice cream cone, an inverted ice cream cone or a tent for that matter. Let us say this is the radius of this cone, this is the height of this cone and this is the slant height of this cone which is depicted by L. So now what is the curved surface area of this cone? That is again in this case we do not have to include the lower lid. The curved surface area of this cone is pi r L where L is the slant height. The total surface area of this cone is the curved surface area plus the area of this lid that is pi r L plus pi r square ok so now what is the volume of this cone the volume of this cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h now we can see that height is something that is perpendicular this is radius and this is l so we can also put Pythagoras theorem on this cone which says that L square is equal to H square plus R square. This is very important and you have to remember it as it will be applied again and again when the questions of cone will come.